Hello. Today, we're going to talk about the Knight of Pentacles and the nuances that it could bring to your tarot reading. And this is actually an interesting discussion because with a lot of the Pentacles cards, they could be described as kind of, I don't want to say mundane, but less exciting than some of the others. But it's really, if you dig deep on them, with their earth energy, you know, pentacles are represented by the element of earth and their grounding effect and their foundational effect more so than grounding for me, um, makes them absolutely necessary in the deck. But uh, some people find them to not, like, especially the core cards to be kind of eh, humdrum, not exciting, but important anyway. So the nine of pentacles, here it is, and you'll be seeing it on your screen the whole time. And it's actually a very simple card and it's singular, singular moment, which um, we know that the tarot cards make much more sense and, and get much more depth and meaning to them when we combine them, of course. And that's what we're going to do in this, uh, after, I, I, after I talk about the Nine of Pentacles for you, we're going to do a couple of combos to shine light on how you would read this card. But as a rule, if you think about the suit of pentacles, so it re re represented by the element of earth, so come up a lot in financial readings and job readings and money readings, it goes on and on. And that's only half the story for me. Uh, the other half of the story is foundational. Foundational. The suit of pentacles, you know, we have to earn money to to keep our lives moving forward and provide shelter for our families if we have such. And we need things um, to get by. Now, when I say we need things to get by, I'm not talking about you need a $400,000 statue. Uh, no, no, we're talking about we need food, we need shelter, we need transportation. These are all pentacles things, things you can touch, see, and feel. So when people say it's not the glamorous suit, but it's one of, if, if, one of, if not the most necessary suit, suit of pentacles. So when we talk about the nine of pentacles, we start with the ace of pentacles, which is all kind of about like getting that, that, that really excitement for some new money making endeavor. We march that all the way up through the 10. So we're at the nine of pentacles, so we're not really there yet, but close. We've done very well and we have uh, just this this card straight, we have attained wealth, personal wealth, so we are able to get finer things that we like, and, and, and sometimes it's okay to be a little bit opulent and spend on yourself because you've worked hard to get there, and there's been struggles in, in the Pentacles journey all the way from Ace to Nine that uh, haven't been easy, but we've uh, scratched and clawed our way there, and now we have made it, so that's always something to remember with the Nine of Pentacles, and it's okay to to shower yourself with something nice. That's what what you gotta remember here. And if you look at the picture itself, I mean, this woman is, she's surrounded by opulent beauty, gardens, her coins, or the pentacles, or her accumulation and foundation of wealth, and nicely dressed, uh, no mountainous peaks and stuff in the back. So it's all a very peaceful, lovely, I've made it card. But we all know that life is fleeting and so, we can never just say you've made it and that's that. And so that's why we want to really look at some combinations with the Nine of Pentacles. And also this would be a good time to talk about this too. So when we talk about the major arcana versus the minor arcana in tarot, the, the, this is a minor arcana card. And so these are things that wax and wane and not major life lessons, if you will. Um, and so it's just kind of saying like, right now you're doing really well, you've, you've made it. But let's combine it to get something a little more powerful, if you will. So I have chosen to combine the Nine of Pentacles with the Five of Cups. What would that mean exactly? Well, if we look at the Five of Cups, and we're not really here to talk about that, but it's about regret, disappointment, um, wishing maybe we had done things differently. And the, the lesson from the Five of Cups is like, but behind you, there are cups standing up. The cups that you're whining about and crying about have spilled over and there's been some loss and you're not taking into account of what went right. So it's kind of an emo card, if you will. But what? how would you combine that with the Nine of Pentacles? 
this person has achieved wealth. This person has made it to where they want to go. We've talked about this with this lovely woman in the Nine of Pentacles. But she has some deep-seated regret as a result. Because sometimes when you are climbing the ladder of wealth, of success, that type of thing, you can step on things figuratively along the way. So there may be friendships that you have ignored during that time because you didn't have time. There may be family members that have taken a back seat. There may be children that have taken a back seat. You know, how often do we hear about the parent that is kicking ass at work, but their kids never ever get to see them? It, it's that type of situation that we're talking about here. And so there's a little bit of regret, a little bit of emotional regret that this person is feeling as a result of their well-doing of their success that they're nine of pentacles success so that's something to think about that's a combination and i would kind of if i was doing a reading i would just kind of focus on the fact i would tell them you know in alcoholics anonymous anonymous programs you always hear about making amends so you know you've got five cups in this five of cups and three of them are spilled over two of them are still upright and we're lamenting the ones that are spilled over so lost loves lost friendships lost opportunity really is what we can say and make amends for that like figure out why you're sad who you feel like you betrayed stepped over stepped on to get to where you are now and reach back out to them and just explain to them you know that it's it's one of those things you know i had my eyes on the prize and i'm still there and and i'm ashamed to say that i neglected your needs that's the type of uh, advice the universe would say on that particular combination. Very similarly, I want to combine the Nine of Pentacles with the Four of Wands reversed. Four of Wands reversed is all about that kind of like-minded people, could be love, could just be business, hobby partnerships, whatever, but you kind of reached a victory lap there and things are really good in that relationship but it's reversed so they're not things uh, you're, you're not celebrating that relationship like you should and you're doing it inwardly and why is that well it's because there could be another relationship this is a wands relationship so i'm going to say like you've achieved victory in a passion project with someone outside of your material wealth that you've accumulated with the uh, Nine of Pentacles, right? So at that point then, you don't want to be boisterous. You don't want to be braggadocious about how well you've done in your friendship circles and your business <coughs> or your passion project. It's like, I, I, I like to call wands moments, passion projects, things that are important to you and stuff. And you have a tight knit circle there and you're just not ready to be so flashy with them about how well you've done because maybe they're not doing as well and so you're just internalizing internalizing uh the celebration so that would be another good combination let's pull one more let me just pull a random card to go with the nine of pentacles i think these are important these quick fire these these quick fire uh combinations because they really do shine light on what the card means outside of just you know the the basic of this card means this. Nobody wants to hear all that. All right. Major Arcana 6, the lovers, and it's reversed. We've actually already talked about this card in its upright position, but this is reversed. And so, real quickly, just to, to refresh with the lovers, you know, choices, um, emotional choices, companionship choices are on your path right now. You're presented with them, but this is reversed. And with the Nine of Pentacles, this one's really easy. So it's just saying that you have foregone getting into a deep companionship with another human being and, and taking care of your emotional needs because you were so focused on your career and your attainment of wealth that you had no time or you made no time to actually get into a relationship or make that choice in that time of life and, <clears throat> and with the nine of pentacles you may be getting uh, a little longer in the tooth in years if you will and so you might have a little bit of regret there because it's like you hear the stories of the person that focused entirely on their career and, and never really settled down with someone and had some of that happiness in their life and that's what that combination is trying to tell us i hope this has been beneficial it's been really fun to talk about the nine of pentacles is um 
It's a wonderful card. Um, the suit of pentacles is a wonderful suit, but you know, it's all about getting to that success level that we all so richly want to obtain. But there can be complexities, as we've talked about, with the lovers reversed, the four of wands reversed, and the five of cups when we combine those. And so those would be real life situations in a reading that would come up, and that's how you would recover from that. I'll say it again, and I'm going to say this in all 156 of these videos, this is an example of why you wouldn't be real effective in your tarot reading if you couldn't put those combos together and you could just reiterate what the Nine of Pentacles means. That doesn't really, that doesn't really tell the whole story, but you have to have that found out, found foundational information to know, you know, that the Suit of Pentacles is based upon the element of Earth. And it's all about foundation and structure and financial stability, tangible things. If you didn't know that and you're just going straight with intuition, you might be completely off. And that's so when we talk about the 50-50 rule, I think 50% uh, understanding tarot as a discipline and what it means and how it works and 50% intuition. So you can weave together the story and read this person across from you and tell it in a meaningful way so that they understand. And that's that. I want to apologize for all the pounding and loud noise. We are putting two escape rooms upstairs of Raven's Cauldron in Delaware right now, and um, they're being framed out right now. So it's an exciting time, but I wanted to get this content out to you, and I'm recording at the shop here. So if it's loud, I apologize. I am Brian Campbell. I am the owner of Raven's Cauldron. You can find us at 110 South Sandusky in Delaware, soon to be 113 South Main Street in Marysville. Ravenscauldron.com is our website. If you click on the top right there and go to online shopping, it'll take you to our Shopify site that has all the products that we sell in store. If you want to book a tarot reading and, and, and sit with me for an hour, my tarot readings are $75 and they take an hour and I do them during the week and on the weekends in Delaware and soon to be Marysville, you can call 740-417-8402 and get that booked. Follow us on Instagram at Raven's Cauldron. You can follow us on Twitter at Raven's Cauldron, Facebook at Raven's Cauldron, Delaware, TikTok, Raven's Cauldron. I appreciate your time, and I look so very forward to putting out more content on each and every one of these tarot cards. I think it's valuable. Have a great one.